Pups and happy Vlogmas day five. We are almost halfway through 12 days of Vlogmas and that is so crazy. I am very tired today. I think it's because I have no sleep schedule right now. I was doing so well with my morning routine and then I just fell off track so basically I've been watching other people's vlogmas videos so I've been staying up late and then I sleep in late so tonight I'm going to bed early and tomorrow I'm waking up early I'm just so much more productive when I wake up early today just wasn't one of those days I mean I was still somewhat productive but I don't know, it just feels a lot better when you wake up early. So for today, I really want to go to Barnes & Noble because, um, I don't know, I'm just really in the mood to have a very cozy, quiet, calm day. So Barnes & Noble is definitely the place where I recharge and yeah, I just really wanna go there, have a nice little browse, maybe get a hot chocolate and yeah, it's gonna be good, nice and relaxing. Hi Margo. You're so cute. Ooh, what time is it, Luna? <laughs> what time is it? Is it time for this? Here you go, buddy. Here you go, Ellie. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand And watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Barnes and Noble and I've got my cozy Harry Potter sweatshirt on. This is from Luna and Azel. I'll have it linked down below. And I did pick up a book at Barnes and Noble. This was actually recommended to me by my friend Jillian. And this is called One Day in December by Josie Silver. It looks so cute. <laughs> so it says two people 10 chances, one unforgettable love story. Lori is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere outside of the movies. But then through the mist on a bus window, one snowy December day, she sees a man that she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic, and then her bus drives away. Certain they're fated to find each other again, Lori spends a year scanning every bus stop and cafe in London, hoping for another glimpse of what she trusts is true love. But she doesn't find him. Not when it matters, anyway. Instead, they reunite at a Christmas party, where her best friend Sarah giddily introduces her new boyfriend Jack, the man from the bus, to Lori. What follows for Lori, Sarah, and Jack is 10 years of friendship, 
heartbreak, roads not taken, and destinies reconsidered. One Day in December is a joyous, heartwarming, and immensely moving love story, and a reminder that fate takes inexplicable turns along the route to happiness. So I think I might actually do a reading vlog for this. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that. I just feel like this would be such a cute, cozy read. I think I might actually start reading this tonight before I go to bed. So speaking of books I have recently purchased, I actually have a collective book haul to share with you. So the first book is also by Josie Silver and this is called The Two Lives of Lydia Bird. And I've started reading this, but I haven't finished it yet. But I will say it is a very bittersweet story, but I really, really love it. It definitely got me out of my reading slump. And then the next book is from Jenna Evans Welch. It is Love and Olives. So I have read Love and Gelato and Love and Luck, and they were both so, so cute. So I just know this is going to be equally as adorable. And this takes place in Greece. Um, it sounds like a very summery novel, so I will probably wait to read this um, until maybe the spring or maybe summer. I probably won't be able to wait till summer, so I'll probably read this in the spring. And then the next book I am so excited for. This was one of those Bookstagram made me buy it books. Um, this is The Romance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. So this is basically about a guy named Gavin and his marriage is failing and in a desperate attempt to save his marriage, he finds help from an unlikely source, a secret romance book club made up of Nashville's top alpha men. With the help of their current read, a steamy Regency novel titled Courting the Countess, the guys coach Gavin on saving his marriage. I just think this sounds really sweet. And then the next book, this is called Rent a Boyfriend. And this is by Gloria Chow. This is one of my favorite reading tropes. It's one of those fake love stories turned to real love stories. And it says, Chloe Wang is nervous to introduce her parents to her boyfriend because the truth is, she hasn't met him yet either. She hired him from Rent Your Rents, a company specializing in providing fake boyfriends trained to impress even the most traditional Asian parents. But when Chloe starts to fall for the real Drew, who unlike his fake persona is definitely not rent worthy, her carefully curated life begins to unravel. Can she figure out what she wants before she loses everything? I'm a huge fan of To All The Boys I've Loved Before and this kind of reminds me of that. So I think I'm really going to love that. And then the last book is A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. Honestly, this was a cover buy for me because this is so cute. It says 17 year old Lila, furious when her parents send her to the English countryside to recover from grief and heartbreak, unexpectedly falls in love with a tea shop clerk and England itself. This sounds so sweet. I just can't get over how cute that cover is. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 5 and we will see you soon for Vlogmas Day 6.